Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdul Rahman, a student of King Faisal University. We are in part two of a series of lessons in C Sharp and MongoDB. In this lesson, we will learn how to implement crowd, create, read, update, and delete operations on MongoDB through Visual Studio's console application. We will be using several classes in our project, such as Object ID, Mongo Client, iMongo Database, iMongo Collection, Bison ID, and Bison Element. Just to be clear, JSON or JavaScript object notation is an open standard file format used to transmit data objects or in data interchange on the web. Bison or binary JSON, on the other hand, is an extension of JSON that is lightweight and fast. With this, Bison is what we will use for our data interchange. In our activity, we will start by creating a database called StudentDB in MongoDB with one collection named Students. We will use this collection in our console app that has a student class with four attributes ID, first name, last name, and GBA, and constructor. Later, we will create or insert a document, read a document, update a document, and delete a document. Let's open Mongo and use StudentDB. Let's create a collection called Students. Insert document with first name of Abdullah, last name of Uthman, and GBA of 5.0. Go back to Visual Studio and create a new project named say underscore mongo underscore zero two. Add MongoDB driver by right-clicking References and clicking Manage New Get Packages. Click Browse tab and search for MongoDB. Select MongoDB driver and install it. Click OK. I accept. Go back to Program.cs and add a new class named Student. Notice that we started with Bison ID inside square brackets. This is to automatically map data from Bison documents to our class. We will do the same for the remaining attributes. MongoDB's first name attribute mapped to our field first name. The last name attribute map to our field last name. The GPA attribute map to our field GPA. Use a quick action again to create the constructor and uncheck ID. Go back to program.cs. Create global static variables for Mongo client object. I Mongo database object I 
iMongo collection of a student class object. We will use these for our CRUD operations. Inside the main method, create an object of a student. Let's create a method to create or insert a document or a record. Let's create a method to read all the documents in the student's collection. Let's create a method to update a document. Let's create a method to delete a document. Go back to the main method and apply the four methods. 
Let's see if there are documents. Create or insert a document. Update a document. Delete the document. Started. Well done! You can also see the output in MongoDB, but call the crude operations one by one. For your challenge, try adding more attributes in the student class such as address and department. In our next lesson, we will use crude operations in MongoDB using WinForm. Thank you for spending your time in this channel.